Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> Stop a moment. I can help you fade away. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You might not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. Hold up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. I've got a deadline on him. Got a clear shot on the left. I've got a shot. clear shot. Ha! He's to lose us. You're in my sight, sweetheart. Has the help. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. 
Look I've seen before. You mark well, I think. I've just overheard one of the Bagford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Ground it all on! Loose topsails, gallons and royals! Now's all but me! I see them. I never worked their plantation, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, huh? A modest one, I. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled, or something else? Cane juice. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like, toiling on a plantation day and night? Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers. Cross the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackpot.
of a do, sir. That's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We've got everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pilots in my eyes on me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're piss drunk and barely able to stand? I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. We have another load after this. Oh, the key, goddammit. Someone find me the key. <laughs> Stop the bastard! Help! 